Well, the largest political corruption scandal in Ohio history ends with a conviction of Ohio's former House Speaker and the former state chair of the Republican Party. Tonight, 10 Investigates takes a closer look at what's next. Chief Investigative Reporter Bennett Haberly speaks with Matt Borges and a key FBI informant involved in the case. Fresh off being convicted in the largest political corruption scandal in Ohio history, former House Speaker Larry Householder told reporters this. I think that uh, the justice system is what it is, and there's a process. This is one step to the process. Householder has maintained his innocence. His co-defendant, Matt Borges, told me by phone Friday he was surprised by the verdict. Some sort of quid pro quo was not something that I was ever involved in. and. Um, you know, I've heard Mr. Householder say that he, he didn't believe he was involved in that either. Prosecutors allege that First Energy made dark money payments that personally benefited Householder and others. Part of a $60 million conspiracy to help elect Householder and others who supported House Bill 6, legislation that provided the energy company with a billion dollar bailout and rescued two aging nuclear power plants. The bill passed. Borges, the former state GOP chairman, was accused of bribing Tyler Furman, who was working on a separate campaign aimed at overturning House Bill 6. Did you offer a bribe to Tyler Furman for information? No, and I've never, I've never um, disputed that Tyler and I met, that Tyler had approached me about his personal needs, that um, we did discuss uh, him coming to work for me, we did discuss um, you know, the things that he was doing on his campaign, but it was it was never my intention to do the same. First of all, Tyler can't be bribed. He's not a public official under Ohio or federal law. Tyler Furman told me he was relieved by this week's convictions and what it was like to wear a wire for the FBI and record his conversation with Borges. And I let him know my integrity wasn't for sale. His response to that, I really think, made a difference with this jury. His response was, no matter what, don't ever tell anyone about this conversation. Um, Matt knew it was a bribe from day one. He knew what he was doing. Both Borges and Householder have hinted that they will appeal. And Borges said he disagrees with prosecutors' characterization, who called him a willing co-conspirator. All I can say is that... Um... I was very surprised by this outcome because I've never believed ever at any point in time that I was participating in a um, conspiracy to commit racketeering acts. First Energy entered into an agreement with prosecutors acknowledging their role in avoiding trial. None of their former executives have been charged. In a statement, a spokeswoman said, quote, while it would be inappropriate to comment on the verdict, First Energy has taken decisive actions over the past several years to strengthen our leadership team and ensure a culture of strong ethics, integrity, and accountability across the company. End quote. Bennett Haberly, 10TV News.